is recognized. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, and thank you, Special Counsel Durham, for being here today. Uh, as has been noted, it's been four years and six and a half million dollars uh, of an investigation of an investigation. And the Durham report makes no new recommendations to change FBI policy or procedure. It does not conclude that the Crossfire Hurricane investigation should not have been opened. And it even acknowledges that the Clinton campaign did nothing worthy of prosecution. Sadly, the Durham report dredges up allegations from unsuccessful prosecutions, including claims that have been rejected by judge and jury. The flaws of the Durham process were so troubling that some aides resigned in protest. I did Google and, in fact, read the news articles around the resignation of Nora Donahue uh, that uh, it is reported that she resigned because of pressure on, the, on you and, and the, the uh, special counsel group uh, to produce a report or an interim report prior to the presidential election. You can't comment on Nora Dennehy's uh, personnel matter. Were you ever encouraged, persuaded, uh, pressured to issue an interim or report prior to the presidential election? You see, without hesitation, I was not pressured into doing anything. Was it suggested to you? It was not suggested to me. And yet it might have been suggested to someone who worked under you, separate from you. I don't believe so. Okay. Mr. Durham, would it have been a dereliction of duty if the FBI sat on its hands and did not investigate with the information they had in front of them? Isn't it I mean, true? I'm, I mean, I'm sure the, the Bureau has an obligation to investigate. Uh, they should investigate. Um, information that they receive from the public or, or otherwise. And generally speaking, yeah, they have an obligation to look at and, and in, assess information. And in this case, they had an affirmative duty to investigate. Would you they agree? Had a, they had an affirmative duty to assess the information they had gotten from the Australian Which diplomats. Which would be an investigation. Uh, you were assigned to investigate that investigation. Mr. Durham, when did you first meet with Attorney General Barr about a potential investigation into the Mueller report, the Mueller investigation? You know, I was appointed in May of uh, 2019. I had met Attorney uh, General Barr after, uh, not in connection with these matters, but I think I initially met uh, the Attorney General uh, when I became the U.S. Attorney for Connecticut. Let me, so let me just oh. put the calendar together. Uh, it was on March 22nd that the Mueller report was submitted to Attorney General Barr. Would you agree with that? That's the, yeah, March 22nd. And correct. according to public records, you met with Attorney General Barr on March 25th, three days later. Okay. And on March 24th, Attorney General Barr released his so-called summary document of a 448-page uh, report, which blatantly mischaracterized the findings in the Mueller report. Would you agree with that? No. Did you discuss the Mueller report during your meeting with Mr. Barr on March 25th? I don't believe so. I think that I, I the timing be, was three days after he received the report, and you don't think in your meeting you talked about the Mueller report. I don't. I don't think that was was. I think it was when I was meeting the attorney general because I had become the U.S. attorney in Connecticut in and mid to maybe, late February. Maybe you, could, maybe you could search your memory oh. and get back to us on that. It's troubling to me because it is clear you were brought in by Attorney General Barr the same week the Mueller report was released and the day after his misleading letter, which hung out there for 25 days before the public got our hands and our eyes on the redacted report. You were hired to investigate the investigators. One week after you met with Mr. Barr, on April 13th, Attorney General Barr's counselor, Seth DeCharm, emailed you offering assistance on behalf of Barr, saying, quote, John, the AG has made me aware of the redacted uh, material you're working with him on, and he asked me to provide you with my support and assistance. Is that true? I think that's correct. Okay. I don't remember the date, but that sounds right. And that's only April. So mm -hmm. uh, I'm wondering if you weren't yet put into this, this, um, this field. Uh, Donald Trump was very vocal on Twitter, as he always has been, about his belief that the Mueller investigation should never have been taken. Are you aware of his tweets? I know that the uh, former president um, was a tweeter, yes. He was a tweeter. Some Republicans on this committee believed uh, that part of your purpose was to exonerate uh, Mr. Donald Trump. I want to take you back to your opening statement. It's a paragraph four. As you know, Mr. Durham, you said this morning, if repeated or left unaddressed, these issues could result in significant national security risks 
and further erode public faith in our justice system. We now sit with a former president indicted 37 counts of around the documents, the classified documents that he took, he held, he moved, he concealed, he lied about, he showed to other people, 37 counts. If repeated or left unaddressed, these issues could result in significant national security risks and further erode public faith in our justice system. I thank you for your service, for pointing out what really matters when we have a very dangerous former president and criminal indictments to come. Time, a time, mess of Mr. Trump's own time, making. I am baffled by this, this uh, committee's lifting up of a corrupt president. lady has expired. And I thank you for indulging me just as you indulge yourself. Thank God, you. God bless you. That's right. God bless Equal you. Opportunity. Uh, the the, the um, Mr. Durham, uh, if you can, if you can go one more round. Is this every day? Yeah. <laughs> well, this is this is relatively calm to some some hearings, and we have Mr. If you can go one more, then we'll give you a break. But we'll we'll recognize the gentleman Everybody from California, did, and we'll give you a quick break, maybe five ten minutes, and we'll come back and and, and finish. Sure. But the gentleman from California is recognized for five. Uh, Mr. Durham, several people today, including Ranking Member uh, Madler and three representatives from California, uh, Mr. Schiff, Mr. S Mr. Swalwell, and Mr. Liu, uh, 